Hi all, let's talk about custom .NET code in SSRS. There are some scenarios where you may need to write some .NET code in SSRS. So there are two ways of writing here. The first way is embedded .NET code in SSRS report. The second way is creating a project and create the DLL and inherit the DLL in the SSRS report. So we'll talk about both the cases. But in this video, we'll talk about how to embed a .NET code in the SSRS report. So here you may need to have a little .NET knowledge to write the .NET code in the reports. So before going to the report, let me show you the data. What is the data I have? So I have a student table which is of having three columns. So student ID, student name and marks. So here. So based on the student marks, I want to display either fail or fast. So if the marks are more than 35, more than or equal to 35, I want to make it as a pass. If it is less than 35, I want to display it as a fail. So I can do the same with the expressions. But for time being, to show this example in the .NET code, I am using vb.NET code to display either pass or fail. So first, let me go to the SQL Server data tools where I have an empty report. Let me create a so data source and data set as usual. So it's it's very uh, easy for us. We already know how to create data set and data sources. So my database name is sample. Let's click on okay. Click on okay. Next data set. Yeah, let I'm going to take embedded data set. Select star from. Okay, so till now it's a common here. Okay. So now let's take a table report. I'm concentrating more on the .NET code prospect too, not on the design and all. So let me take here. Here I am taking as ID student. Here I am taking as a student name. Here I am taking as a marks. The next column I'll put as a status, either pass or fail. So as discussed, I can I can do the same thing with expressions, but for time being, I am planning to go with a .NET code. How to embed a .NET code in the SSRS report? Let's right click on the report body. So there is a report properties. Under that, you have a page setup code references and variables. Let's go to the code. Here you will be writing a customized .NET embed code. Okay. So here while writing this code you may need to have a little dotnet knowledge so let me write some code here see this is a vb.net code where i have a function so this is the syntax of the vb.net the function name is status and to display the status failure pass i need to pass some input to this method i need to pass a marks marks as an input and it is going to return as a string Okay, either pass or failure. If you know the .NET, then it is a very straightforward uh, syntax and straightforward statements. And if the marks are greater than or equal to 35, I am returning as a pass. Else, it is fail, end if, and end function. So this is a vb.net. If you know the vb.net, it is a very straightforward and easy. Once you are done, let's click on OK. Now, how to use this? Okay, here let's right click here, click on expressions. Now write the expression. How to? use it okay first you have to write code dot what is the method name status status of i need to pass the marks marks field i need to pass fields exclamatory mark marks dot value okay so this is the status is a method name which i declared in the vb.net so and this is the code is object means code is a kind of object which will help us to access the embed.net code let's click on okay now let's go to the preview there i can see now so 34 is fail and remaining all are pass i made a statement as greater than or equal to that's the reason why 35 became pass so this is how you need to write a .net code in the report itself it's a kind of embed.net code let me show you the .net code again right click in the report body report properties go to code here you need to write a .NET code. Let's click on OK. So this is how you need to implement a 
embed.net code in the SSRS report. This is a one of the very good example in the SSRS reports collection. So please watch all the videos and please share your feedback in the comments section. Thank you for watching. That's it.